What's going on guys, it is Link's Warlord here and today I'm bringing you another Black Ops 2 video and in this video I'm going to be bringing you part 1 of a new set of videos where I talk about the different classes available in Black Ops 2 and give you guys some really strong class suggestions. Now the suggestion I'm bringing you today is probably going to be one of my go-to classes because it is a great all-rounder and will massively take advantage of other people not being very comfortable with the game yet. This is part one of my best assault rifle class video, so depending on the feedback I get from this video, I will make more class setup videos for rushing, sniping, getting lots of XP, and uh, you know generally having a good time in the game. So be sure to leave a comment, hit that like and favorite button if you want to see some more of these. Now moving on to the class suggestion itself, we're going to be starting off with the Scar H. Now the reason I've chosen the SCAR H for my primary weapon is because I am very familiar with the weapon known as the SCAR throughout the Call of Duty series. I used it in Modern Warfare 3 a lot and I used it in Modern Warfare 2, which means I'm pretty much really aware of what the default iron sights are like. And just by looking at the picture on your screen right now, you will see it's kind of the same gun, it's got the same iron sights, and I've also checked the stats and it's pretty much the same as it was in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. But we have got to bear in mind that this is Treyarch making this game, it's not Infinity Ward and we've never seen a SCAR H or SCAR L for that matter from Treyarch. So it's probably going to be a little bit different guys. Now moving on, I've got the Suppressor, the Target Finder and Quick Draw. Now these, per these weapon attachments are going to make this gun absolutely fantastic in the early stages of the game. The Suppressor is going to keep you off the map and it's going to help you travel around the map whilst killing people without getting seen. The Target Finder is going to be fantastic because people won't know how to counter it just yet they'll be really low levels they'll not know what perks to unlock they'll not know what the perks fully do and they'll not even know that the target finder is in the game because since we're on YouTube we always know what's going to happen before it's happened with the games guys so they definitely use the target finder because six months down the line the target finder will not be used because people will be using the cold blooded perks because they'll know it's so powerful because it just lights up your enemies as a red square if you haven't already seen the videos. Next is the quick draw now this is this is a perk in Modern Warfare 3 it's now an attachment all your perks your weapon affecting you know perks are now attachments for those who didn't know that this is just going to help you aim down sight faster so you can aim down sights with your target finder and suppressor so it's going to be insanely easy to get a lot of kills really quickly and to take advantage of players not knowing exactly what they're going to do if you don't play so rushing with this class and play a little bit defensively because that's what you should do when the game comes out you will easily stack up a hell of a lot of kills with this now moving on to the perks the first perk is hardline now hardline isn't like it is in modern warfare 2 or modern warfare 3 or black ops it actually lets you earn bonus points for every action you take so for example if you're jumping on a flag you now get uh, 250 XP instead of just 200 XP now, which is a real bonus that's gonna make the game a hell of a lot easier because you can stack your kill streaks faster but it's not just starting you off without uh, with having to get uh, less kill streaks you get more points for every single action you take so hardline is gonna play a role that it's never played before and it's gonna make it really really easy to do so next perk is toughness now toughness is a fantastic perk and I can see me using it a hell of a lot this is less flinch when you get shot by an enemy so if you're if you're getting shot and you're aiming down sights your gun isn't going to move as much which means in turn you're able to win more gunfights helping you to get more kills helping you to get more kill streaks in uh, black ops uh, black ops 1 i believe this was a second tier perk so this is in the league of uh, sleight of hand and uh, those types of perks so it's a very powerful perk guys so definitely give that one a, give that one a try now for the third perk is Dexterity. Now this perk, there's only one thing I like about it, but it's got lots of other bonuses, you know. You can climb ladders and mantle over obstacles 50% faster than normal, but you can aim down sight faster after sprinting and recover from melee strikes. The bit where you can aim down sight faster after sprinting is very important. It's like Quick Draw Pro. You can pull your weapon up faster. This is going to be insane on assault rifle classes, but it's going to be fantastic as well on SMG classes and any rushing classes because you can pull that weapon up faster get over objects faster it's going to be absolutely fantastic guys so now we're going to be moving on to the secondary weapon and the secondary weapon i've chosen is the executioner now the reason i've actually got a secondary weapon on and not picked anything else is just because i don't think i'm completely ready to not have a secondary weapon like i understand i could have had a different perk on or anything like that but definitely do use a secondary weapon pistol just for now just for the first day you know the first hours of the game at least because you as a player are used to having a secondary weapon so take a secondary weapon with you because especially because we haven't got scavenger as well which means if we do go on a really nice high kill streak then we will need the extra ammo provided for 
by the secondary weapon, which is the Executioner. And it does look like a pretty good gun. It looks pretty beast, like a little revolver or anything like that, guys. No attachments on that because we didn't have the points to spend because we only have 10 points. And we have got three attachments and three perks. For the ta lethal equipment, we've got a Semtex grenade just because I'm used to having a grenade as well. Further on down the line, I will be taking these off and I will do some class suggestion videos without a secondary and without Semtex. And we'll just make some fantastic perk classes. But moving on to the wild card we've got now. And the wild card is the primary gunfighter I've selected. I could have selected two other wild cards but I didn't but instead I've just got the primary gunfighter and the primary gunfighter wild card lets me have a third attachment on my weapon so that's how I've got three attachments not just two guys primary gunfighter lets you have another attachment on your weapon now the kill streaks are very important for this class the kill streaks are the lightning strike the death machine and the sentry gun now, you may be thinking, wow, the sentry gun, the lightning strike, the death machine, these aren't very good kill streaks. Well, the fact is, guys, they're not very good kill streaks, and they won't be playing a massive part in the game. But in the first few weeks of the game, they will be devastating. That death machine, you can die and still have the death machine. You get that death machine until you've used those 100 or 500 bullets in it. So that death machine is going to be a game changer. But look at the score of all these things, guys. The lightning strike, 550 point streak. The death machine is a 600 point streak, and the sentry Entry gun is a 650 point streak. That means if you get your lightning strike, you've only got to get another 100 points, and you've got three kill streaks, three very damaging kill streaks if used correctly, guys. So this class can be really, really devastating. But more importantly, it's just remembering that, that that Scar H with those three attachments on is going to be really lethal and it's really going to help you guys get a hell of a lot of kills. And it's going to help you get these kill streaks again and again and again multiple times in the game, guys. So bear that in mind and definitely give this a try if you need a class or you can't think of any suggestions for yourself. Now, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. This has just been a quick class suggestion video. I know it's lasted for quite a while. It's not been that quick, but I do hope you guys have really enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me some feedback on this video. Hit the like button, add this video to your favorites. I will be uploading more of these if you guys want to. I can do lots of other class suggestions, you know, Russian class, sniping classes. Just let me know, guys, and I will do that. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest. There will be two annotations on your screen right now that will take you to two of my other Black Ops 2 videos. So go ahead and check those out. As always, my name is Lynx Warlord and I will catch you guys in the next video.